All right, this is just a quick tip for those of you with a 2008 newer RXV electric. A lot of people want to add accessories like uh, headlights or a radio or a horn or anything for that matter that runs on 12 volts. So how I did it originally was I used this 48 volt to 12 volt converter that I mounted down in here, you know, next to the batteries. And the problem I was having, I originally just ran it off of the output side of the solenoid. So when you turn the key, it energized this terminal that I'm pointing to with my finger on the solenoid here. And then I ran that directly to the 48 volt converter. And I had 12 volts when the key was on because I want everything to turn off when the key's off. The problem with that was that the electronics that control the cart are so sensitive. If you had your headlights on or a radio or anything that's drawing a little bit of power, when you turn the key forward, it would actually shut down the controller and you wouldn't be able to move with the cart. It could sense that there was a draw somehow coming off of the solenoid. So how I solved that was by adding a relay. And this is a special relay because it is a 48 volt DC relay. I bought it on Amazon for under $10. Basically, it's just like an automotive relay, it can, but it can handle 48 volts instead of 12. So how I wired this is, did it all still right here from the solenoid. Basically, you have your power that comes in from the battery on this leg here. And then I took and ran a connection right off of there. I fused it. 25 amps because my controller is 20 amps and it runs into your 30 port your number 30 terminal on your relay and the output of the relay your 87 terminal runs to the input of the 48 volt converter so basically this is always you know will pass 48 volts when the relay is energized to energize the relay you connect uh, one of your uh, 85, 86 leads, doesn't matter which one, you connect that to the main 48 volt ground, which in my case comes off of this battery back here. And then I connect the other 85 or 86 terminal, whichever one your positive will say, to this terminal here, this bottom smaller terminal with red wire, will be the yellow wire probably in your case, or red, but anyway, uh, that is energized when you turn the key. So when you turn the key, this is switched on, and that's what I used to uh, turn the relay on. So basically, you're just adding, in essence, another solenoid, but there's no draw off of the terminal on the solenoid, and the cart is happy with that. And then everything works. I can have my headlights on, stereo on, turn the key to the cart on. They can come on, and it'll still go through its uh, checks and be ready to drive. Now, the reason why you don't ever wanna just use one battery, because if you just connect everything to one battery, you'll have your 12 volts. But the problem with that is you were then drawing down one battery compared to the other. And if you only used it for like a horn every now and then, it wouldn't be such a big deal. But if you get the batteries out of alignment, then it can cause all sorts of problems with the controller. The electronics on these Modern RXVs are very sensitive, so some people even add another whole battery, but then that's a pain because you have to charge it on its own. So this does work the way I wired it, by just adding a 48 volt relay. It will give you, with your converter, it will give you all the power you need. And for this whole setup, the relay and the converter, I spent less than $30 to have my switch 12 volts for all my accessories. So maybe this was helpful, just a quick video for you. See you next time. Thanks.